ladies and gentlemen of the media, when we met last time, I informed you that we will be inviting you to share with you and the larger public new development as far as COVID-19 is concerned. I thank you for responding to our invitation this morning, I'll pay it on a short notice. The COVID-19 outbreak has been spreading around, around the world since its announcement in the city of Wuhan in Hubei province in China. With a sober heart, I must announce this morning that COVID-19 has reached our country. The positive COVID-19 results were received last night on Friday, the 13th of March, 2020, at around 21 hours. The tests were conducted on two travelers who came to Namibia from Spain. The travelers, who are a couple, started their journey from Madrid, Spain, via Doha, Qatar, and arrived in Windhoek on Wednesday, the 11th of March, 2020. On arrival at Jose Kutako International Airport, the couple was, the couple was screened like all other passengers. They also completed travel declaration as is procedure. The screening procedure did not reveal any sign to cause concern, such as high fever. Later on the same day, one of the couple presented to a private medical practice with complaints of a cough. The attending medical doctor, taking into account the travel history and the individual of the individual determined that samples should be taken for confirmatory test of COVID-19. The specimen was sent to a private laboratory, which in turn sent them for testing in South Africa. As I stated earlier, the test results were received from South Africa yesterday night. Thus, I hereby announce that there are two confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Namibia. The couple to whom the positive result relate was immediately quarantined and contact tracing commenced. This will be intensified to ensure that all contacts are traced in order to protect the Namibia public and prevent community transmission. This development demands extraordinary action by government. It calls for greater unity of purpose and action by all of us Namibians. The government shall introduce additional measures in the COVID-19 response. These measures will be announced in due course as soon as they have been finalized. All suspected cases must be reported to the ministry and all the, all the results, positive or negative, must be communicated to the ministry immediately upon their receipt. I am encouraged by the fact that some private service providers have approached the ministry and offered their assistance. This is really a welcome development. I call on the public to remain calm and to practice preventive measures. I further call on the public to respect the privacy of the couple concerned. I wish to emphasize and appeal to all Namibians that to combat the further spread of the disease, we must rally together and confront this threat as one Namibia one nation. It is in our best interest to stand in unison for the well-being of our people and for the well-being of our country.
My name is Kevin. Uh, I'm uh, a host on Eagle FM, Honorable Minister. Thank you so much uh, for this uh, very special announcement. I just want to find out, uh, besides having to wash hands, avoiding contact, uh, this is at a family social level, are there any other drastic steps that you're thinking of uh, in terms of trying to protect the borders of Namibia? We have seen other countries t taking drastic, drastic steps such as closing schools, uh, such as instituting travel bans, such as uh, quarantining immediately people that are coming from hotspot areas like Italy and China. Are we considering those uh, steps at this point? Thank you very much, uh, Eagle FM, and then we have. I have one or two. Okay. Okay. Please go ahead. Uh, Imensi Mukala from the New Era. I just wanted to find out, seeing as this couple was not detected at the airport as point of entry, how many other people have not been detected thus far, if that is the case? And how is it going to go about then in the future? Thank you very much. Over there. My name is Salima Henok from NBC. Uh, Minister, I just wanted to find out, is uh, closing of borders, will that be an option perhaps? And also, uh, uh, there was the speculations that uh, uh, there is a case confirmed at Katutura Hospital. How true is that? Thank you. <coughs> Next question. Yeah, my name is Kudai Kochi Demisa from New Era Newspaper. Uh, the minister said that these two couples arrived on Wednesday. What, which airline did they use? Thank you. Over here. Shaligan Peterson, also from uh, Eagle FM. Minister, how far have you started with the tracing and how far are you? Sorry? Have you started with tracing, with oh. the tracing process and how far are you? Kayula um, Nongwa, I'm a freelance journalist. Is the couple from Namibia or there? to respect the privacy uh, of the couple uh, and uh, I would like to, to request that uh, maybe that is not uh, really a question of so much public interest. I just want uh, to know if they are in a hospital will they be in a... No, no, they are not the, in no, the I hospital. Don't want the location, they, are not, they are not in the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. FAM drastic steps ban closing the borders. Um, I mentioned in my statement that we are cons considering measures. And once we finalized those considerations and uh, formulated them, uh, thinking them out in terms of uh, the impact, uh, in terms of the implications, then they will be announced to the public. New era, how many not detected? Well, those, the, the couple were not detected, I mean, the, the two couple, they were not detected because they did not, when they entered at the airport, they did not exhibit signs and symptoms which are character, characterized of uh, coronavirus. And that's why they were cleared. So in other words, they were in the incubation period. Um, it is it's difficult to, to know how many how many people passed when they were in incubation period, but you know the incubation period is between two and fourteen days, <coughs> the mean of uh, five days. Uh, anyone in Namibia who came to Namibia during incubation period and remained in Namibia obviously will eventually show signs. And once the signs came up, then the person will be managed accordingly. Um, the issue of uh, NBC closing of borders, uh, I have uh, uh, answered that question. In Katutura Hospital case, we are not aware of any such case in Katutura. Which airline? Um, I, will, I, I, I did mention in my statement that the couple set off in Madrid, and then they traveled to Doha, and then uh, they landed in 
Namibia. Uh, as you may know that uh, there is a direct flight between Doha and Windhoek with the Qatar uh, airline. So the, the most possibility is that they might have traveled from Doha to Namibia with the Qatar Airways. Um, Eagle FM about tracing, yes. Uh, tracing started already last night. Immediately the contacts were identified and uh, uh, it, will be, it will be continued until all the people who were in the contact with the couple have been identified and traced. The couple, uh, they are not Namibians, they are uh, Spanish who are on a visit to Namibia. They are not Namibian citizens or Namibian permanent residents. No, we are not hiding any information. From the word go, we have committed to briefing the media about the developments on Corona. We have been doing that on a regular basis each Wednesday. The purposes of the briefings is to inform the Namibian people through the media about any information that we have on the spread of the disease. And we have shared with the media about all the suspected cases that have been reported to us. We have even told you the results that have been conducted either outside uh, by the NICD in South Africa or those that have been uh, tested locally by the Namibian Institute of Pathology. Uh, the government has gone to the extent of inviting the media to see their facilities, whether at the airport, at the uh, military hospital, or the isolation facility there at the airport as well. We have given information as far as what the government is doing uh, in terms of their response. So it is completely untrue that the ministry would hide any information. And we are again calling on members of the public to desist from spreading unverified false information that causes consternation and alarm in the public. We are please appealing to the nation to desist from doing so because that can cause unnecessary panic and it will be a recipe for disaster. So any verified information about anything on corona will be communicated by the ministry through the media at appropriate platforms. Thank you very much. The World Health Organization has declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. Therefore, Namibia has to take steps to deal with this pandemic. The Minister of Health announced this morning that there are two confirmed cases of COVID-19 on Namibian soil. The health of Namibians is the first priority. Appropriate precautionary measures must be taken to protect Namibians from being affected by this virus. The steps we are taking are drastic and they are as follows. The Independence Day celebrations that were scheduled for Independent Stadium are called off. However, the swearing-in will take place at a state house or a hotel. The financial outlay for independent celebrations will be diverted to fight against this coronavirus to add to what is already there. But what has not been spent from these celebrations must now be diverted so that it can be added in fighting this virus. The Namibian government is suspending inbound and outbound travel to and from Qatar 
Ethiopia and Germany will have immediate effect for a period of, let's say, 30 days. All big gatherings are suspended for a period of 30 days. Lockdown of Venduk Gymnasium will have immediate effect for a period of two weeks. Suspension of all travels by Namibian government officials, including state-owned enterprises. The Interministerial Task Force, whose, whose members have joined me here, will communicate additional measures. Yes, uh, you, you, you heard the president has made those broad policy statements which has to be implemented immediately. The president went further to say that he has set up a, ministers, a ministerial committee which is assisted by the technical committee and they are going to make further announcements. So as, as we are going, there's going to be further announcement on how we are going to deal with the situation. And I want to tell you that by Monday, you might hear new announcement because these committees have started working as of from now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Honorable Minister, just the gatherings or the suspension on the government officials traveling uh, outside the country, now gatherings that has to do with multilateralism, will Namibia just um, assign their heads of mission in those countries or what is to happen in the case of annual meetings? Yeah, I have also to tell you, there's a lot of bilateral meetings which are called off. Uh, for example, on Monday, we were supposed to have the Sadak Council of Ministers in Dar es Salaam. And already Sadak has reduced the agenda, and we are going to have a teleconference in order to handle those urgent matters. Uh, the United Nations have canceled all their meetings. In fact, there was the Human Rights Council meeting which delegates had arrived in, in, in Geneva. And they, they were to start. Then it was decided it's called off. Mm -hmm. So th there will be no really much bilateral meetings. If there will be, it will be teleconference. So that is uh, what is happening now internationally. And uh, as you have also heard, that uh, we are canceling all those, uh, those flights. Uh, how do you travel to those meetings? Because uh, most of people coming to Namibia is either through uh, Air Namibia, which goes to Frankfurt, Ethiopians, which goes to Addis, as well as the Qatar. So that is really a situation, and it's not only Namibia that is stopping this, it's other countries too. It's a very serious situation. So bilateral meetings are called off. Mm -hmm. yeah. In South Africa? Uh, Deputy Prime Minister, I just want to know, South African cases are increasing by the day, especially from uh, in the Western Cape, and as we know in Gauteng. And we have uh, daily flights from Joburg and from Cape Town coming into the country, two or three flights. Um, is this not concerning to the Minister, uh, to the Deputy Prime Minister? Why, what about government? those flights? Yeah, th th those are the assessments that uh, the committee which is set up are going to make. So currently we are talking about the intercontinental flights. You must realize that most, if not all, the, 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 the cases that are reported in Africa, including in Namibia, they are imported. And that is why we are working as a, as, as a continent to see how we can really handle that situation. And also remember, the World Health Organization has declared Europe now as an epicenter, and that is why we, that is our target. But they made it very clear that all the measures should not be taken in isolation, but should be taken in totality. <laughs>